In this specific video, we're going to talk about how to get a new WordPress blog ready. So after you install your WordPress blog, what you need to do is simply log into your WordPress dashboard, as you can see here. And what I'm going to do now is just to walk you through step by step on how to get your WordPress blog ready. Now, by default, WordPress is going to install some default posts, default pages, and we're going to go through and clean it up. So first things first, if you go under the post section and you click on all posts, you're going to see the default hello world post. You don't need that. So you can go ahead and delete that. Click on trash and we'll trash that. You can add posts here. You can also create categories here. And by default, you're going to see a uncategorized category. You can create other categories here simply by adding the name slug and the description. You can add tags that enables you to connect your content together. You have the media library where you can add media of all types, such as images, videos, and audios. And under the pages section, if you go under all pages, you're going to notice that there is a sample page by default. You don't really need this page as well. So you can either delete it or you can rename it. In this case, we can trash it. And this section here will show comments that other people have made on your WordPress site. Under appearance, you can access themes, customize it and access widgets. And widgets allow you to add specific items such as a calendar or archives or categories or a custom menu onto a sidebar of your theme. You can add it to other areas of the theme depending on the theme itself because depending on how the theme is made or the website theme itself, you can have a sidebar, you can have other areas where you can add the widgets to. So if I take a look at the live site here, as you can see here, this right here is going to be the widget sidebar. So all you need to do is simply drag and drop things over. But by default, WordPress is going to input the search widget, recent post widget, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta widget. And you really don't need these, but of course you can pick and choose and add it back if you want to. And then we have the menus section. We have the header section, the background and the editor. Now, if you go to plugins, you will notice by default that there are two plugins. WordPress will always install the Akismet plugin and the Hello Dolly plugin. You do not need the Hello Dolly plugin. So you can click on delete. And yes, delete these files under settings under general. This is the area at which you can change the site title the tagline and the time zone and your email address under settings and writing. This allows you to select your default post category and your default post format and other things like update services, which allows you to let the search engines know that you have updated your blog. Under the settings and reading section, this allows you to set the reading settings, such as blog pages show at most 10 posts. So every time somebody loads a blog page, they only see about 10 posts. You can for each article in the feed that they're looking through, you can show the full text or a summary, and you can also discourage search engines from indexing your website, which you probably want to do if you are not ready to reveal your site to Google and get it indexed to the public. Under discussion, you can control your comments. And that's it. That's how to get your WordPress blog ready. And from this point on, you can start uploading content. And that's it.